please hit that subscribe button. Hey, everybody. Better suited to win the Stanley Cup this season. If you are new to the channel, the Washington Capitals, the Boston Bruins. Locked out and he scores! And we're live. Hey, everybody. So we got some news today about the goaltending situation with the Washington Capitals. And it is that Ilya Samsonov will not be traveling with the team to Toronto and take part in the 2020 playoffs. So Samsonov has an injury and he is not good to go for the playoffs this year. Um, he's not even traveling with the team. So uh, he's going to stay back in Washington to rehab the injury. He is expected to be ready for the 2020-2021 season next year, starting December 1st. But he is not going to play at all in the next couple of months for the Washington Capitals. So that really clarifies the goaltending situation there, which there were some questions about. It's Braden Holtby's net. And I guess um, uh, without even having the option of Samsonov, you're going to see Phoenix Copley um, be, be the backup, I would assume. And, uh, you know, they'll have to go even deeper into their goaltending depth for their third goalie at this point. But... Um, it's Braden Holtby's net, and this is a huge opportunity for Braden Holtby to going into free agency, where he's going to be an unrestricted free agent at the end of this season, to really make a mark and show that he's still an elite goaltender in the NHL. La this past year was bad. It was downright bad for Braden Holtby. He was not good. His numbers were, you know, the worst we've ever seen in his career, um, he really struggled at points this season like where he looked really, really bad. And there were a lot of questions as to whether Samsonov might have just been taking the starting job from him. Now, Samsonov not being able to play obviously means there's no competition. It is Braden Holpe's net, and this is a massive opportunity for him. He can completely erase everyone's thoughts about how you know his what how he played this past year and his numbers and all of that if he comes into the playoffs and plays once again like Braden Holtby is supposed to play like an elite goaltender in the NHL and he also can solidify himself as still an elite goaltender in the NHL which is going to fill his wallet when he hits free agency this uh at the end of this season can't even say this summer like normal um when he hits free agency after the season, he'll go out and he will get a massive contract to be the starting goaltender somewhere other than Washington. I do not see him going back to Washington with the cap staying the same, Washington salary cap situation. They already gave a huge contract to Nicholas Backstrom. They don't have the money to sign Braden Holtby to what Braden Holtby is going to get in free agency. Um, without dismantling and dumping some contracts off of that roster, particularly the forward group. So I don't see him going back to Washington. I think he's going to be with a different team next season, and he's going to be brought in by a team to be an elite starter. He has a chance now to prove in these playoffs that he's still an elite starter because he was not elite this season at all. Um, goals against was way too high. Save percentage was way too low, and um, he, he really struggled at points. But now, you know, he going into the postseason, you, you that was four, four and a half months ago. That doesn't matter anymore. It's all about going forward for Braden Holtby and the Washington Capitals, and it's all about him playing at Braden Holtby level for the next two months. And you know, if, if he can do that, that's great for the Capitals. It's great for him. And the Capitals have a legitimate chance to win another Stanley Cup. If he plays like he did in the regular season, the Capitals are probably going to be out round one because they don't have the option anymore of going to Samsonov. Or if Holtby comes in and gives up five goals in game one, they don't have the option of of, stop, of switching to Samsonov for game two. Or if Holtby comes in and is bad in games one and two and loses both and gives up, you know, 10 combined goals, then they don't have the option anymore of switching to Samsonov for game three. So... This is going to be a lot of pressure on Braden Holtby, and it's time for him to step up and show that he is still the Braden Holtby that we've seen for the last decade, the Stanley Cup winning goaltender, the elite top five NHL goaltender that he's been for for the past you know ten plus year, ten or so years now. Um, it's it's time for him to show it. So we'll see what he looks like, but this is big news for the Capitals because. 
This squarely puts their postseason now on the shoulders of Braden Holtby as far as the goaltending is concerned. There's no more debate between Samsonov and Holtby. There's no more uh, question about who's going to start or how short is the leash going to be. It's Holtby's net now, and and I unless he is abysmal and real, really you know atrocious, you're not going to see anyone else in that net. It's Braden Holtby's net. So. Samsonov not playing for the Washington Capitals at all in the 2020 playoffs, putting it all on the shoulders of Braden Holtby, and it's time for Holtby to step up and show that he is still an elite NHL goaltender. So with that, like, comment, share, subscribe, follow on social media. All those links are down in the description. If you'd like to further support the channel, donation, like, merch store, and Patreon are down in the description as well. Keep spreading the word about this channel. Let's keep this thing growing. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you guys soon.